Hello, everyone. My name is Khadija Lashan, also known as Your Black Guidance Counselor on Instagram and YouTube. I'm here to inspire you to be your higher self, as well as to guide you to any resources that you may need on your journey. Welcome to the Black Creator Podcast. Today's episode is a special segment of my show called Tea Time with YBGC. It is an opportunity for you to hear the tea straight from me and expand your mind to different perspectives so you can continue to connect to your higher self. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, everybody. It is Khadija again. I am coming to you guys to talk to you about how I purchased my first real estate investment property. Um, And I did this at 23 years old. Um, Yeah, so uh, I guess where I can start is just saying like, you know, I know that buying a home is not always the best bet for everybody. You know, some people aren't the, in the position to buy a home at this point in time. That could be for credit reasons, it could be for financial reasons, it could be for any reason, just not the right time. And I respect that. But for the people who are interested in first time home ownership or owning your own investment property, I highly, highly recommend that you guys check out my YouTube video about how I align my mindset for home ownership, how I purchased my home. And you have to realize, you know, literally people have to realize that like your mind controls what is around you. You know, if you believe that you're never gonna be able to do something, your brain literally stops working. It stops working and you aren't able to do that thing because you stop thinking of ways that you can figure out how to do it. You know, it's very important that we speak about things in a specific way. You don't want to ever say that you'll never be able to do something because you already wrote yourself off. You already cut yourself off from thinking of ways that you could do it. So um, the number one thing I want you guys to realize is that mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. You listen to any story from any successful individual. It could be a basketball player, it could be an actor, it could be, um, you know, anybody. Anybody who is successful in their field or in their area of expertise. Their mindset was the only reason that they were even able to start on that journey. Because if you don't believe you can do something, you're never going to try. So... I go a lot more into detail about that in my video on my link. You can click it on my bio, on Shop It's a Curl Thing, or any of my other pages. But definitely check out that video because it's something that's very important that people need to hear, especially if you're thinking about buying a home. So let me backtrack a little bit. So the reason why I decided to buy instead of renting is because I didn't really want to put my money into somebody to put my money into somebody else's pocket because that's essentially what you're doing you know when you are renting you acknowledge that you are paying higher than someone would pay if they they bought this this property if it's an apartment if it's a condo whatever you are acknowledging that you are paying higher and you are also acknowledging that you are not going to have anything at the end of the lease you know you either can extend the lease or you can leave, you know? And I just didn't want to put my money into something that wasn't gonna return to me. I didn't wanna put my money into renting a property or renting anything just because I feel like, you know, I want it to be mine. I want to be putting the money into my money and investing it into something that is mine instead of investing it into something that is not mine and will never be mine. So, That was pretty much the overall reason. And I understand that, you know, not everybody is in the situation where they can do that at this moment in time or, you know, but it, it was a good opportunity for me to grow up, you know, to actually take the time to research something, stop listening to the opinions of others, because, you know, you have to realize when you, when you let somebody's, when you let somebody, when you ask somebody, What do you think about this? It's like you're asking them for permission to do it. But at the end of the day, being an adult is about making decisions on your own and dealing with the consequences on your own. 
because you know purchasing a house comes with a lot of responsibilities it comes with you know, the maintenance of a home. It comes with all the different things that are tacked onto an insurance. It comes with a 30 year commitment, you know, and that's not necessarily something that people will walk into so freely. But I also want you guys to realize that you don't have to, um, you don't have to feel like a, a 30 year mortgage is a bad thing because you can always pay it off sooner, okay? And you can always rent out that property to someone else. You know, because people will always need a place to live. Always need a place to live. People will always need a place to live. And not everybody's in the position to own something. Or 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 even willing to take on the responsibility of owning something. So, yes. Um, I purchased my first home at 23. I was able to do it because of my mindset. And my mindset would not let me give up. It was not a quick process. It was not quick at all. It actually took about, I would say half a year just for me to believe that I could do it. Like that's that's half the battle right there is, is believing that you can do this. Because if you don't believe, you've already written yourself off. So it took me about half a year to believe that I could do it. And then it took me about a year to actually complete the process because buying a home, you know, you think, oh, I'm just gonna look at a couple homes and I'm just gonna pick one. No, that's not how it works. It's not a quick thing. It's not an easy feat. You literally have to look at multiple homes in different areas. You have to look at the neighborhoods in that area. You actually have to go into the home and visit. You have to get an inspector to come out and look at the house to see if anything's wrong. You have to get a real estate agent to work with you the entire time. You know, I mean, technically you don't, but it's better when you have a real estate agent. It's way better. I wanted to do it by myself at first, but then I realized, you know, like, all, real estate agents only really talk to real estate agents. So like you have to be represented to have, I mean, it, it depends, you know, but you want a good real estate agent. I'll go to that in a, in a, at a different time. It's too much information, but yes, it's a long process, a very long process. And you're dealing with such like official things. Like you have to have all your documents for the past three years every single dollar accounted for your bank statements everything the bank wants everything they want to know exactly who who they're loaning their money to so yes i rented I, I purchased my first home and then my decision soon after purchasing my first home was to start my business where i started renting out the rooms in my in my house and that has a ton of tax benefits y'all a ton of tax benefits so Yes, I um, I did that shit, man. I did that shit. Like I, I have to take a step back sometimes and realize my accomplishments and appreciate my accomplishments because, you know, I definitely feel like this is the first investment property of many for me. Of many, because real estate is wealth. It's, it's, it's your wealth going into something and it's yours, you know, and it's great. I mean, owning a home, it definitely has its downsides, but it has a ton of upsides. Like, like I make the rules. I decide what's okay. I decide what's not okay. And it's my house, you know, so it's my word or th that's it. It's just, it's my word is law, you know, and you know, you start to realize how your parents, must have felt you know if you disrespected their home or if you you know left messes in their home you like honestly yeah so i hope that this video was helpful and if you guys have a chance check out my mindset video of how i align my mindset for purchasing my first home um and if you guys have purchased a home or if you're considering you know, drop some questions below because I definitely want to make a next video in that series. But I want to make sure that like I'm answering any questions that you guys have. So, yes, share this message to your stories, you know, share it with your friends, tag your friends in the comments, engage guys, engage. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.